Here in this example, we are going to simplify the expression in front of us. We have in our numerator the product of sine theta, cosine theta, and in the denominator we have the difference 1 minus cosine squared theta. So we are doing these on flashcards. So we have our example on the front and we're going to work them out on the back. I definitely suggest you try to do the same and wrap a rubber band around all the simplifies and keep them together because Every example you do probably has a thousand other examples very similar to it. So it can't really hurt to have these handy to flip through, look through, try again in the future. So I rewrote the example on the back and wrote it smaller and left some room. So to do this example, I'm going to reference a few of, maybe just one actually, another flashcard that I've prepared already. So. Given, there's our Pythagorean identity, classic original sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Isolate sine squared theta, and just as an extra, we don't really need the second part for this particular example, can this be factored? In order to isolate sine squared theta, we'll subtract cosine squared theta from both sides. So you'll have sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Then we'll have a difference of two squares, which we can factor using conjugates, 1 plus cosine theta and 1 minus cosine theta. I have that already worked out on the back of the card. There's the original problem, subtracted cosine squared theta from both sides to get this alone. Left with this right here, which is really what we're going to be focusing on for this example. And just as an extension of it, we took the sine squared theta, um, which was 1 minus cosine squared, and we factored it. So this is equal to this or this. It's they're all equal to each other. All right, so let's use this bit of information to help us out with this problem. We never want to keep a sum or a difference in our denominator if we can help it. It's not really a great place to start when you want to simplify or reduce something because you can't cross things out when they're part of a sum or a difference in a fraction unless they are an entire factor that matches from top to bottom. So what we just saw was that I'm going to rewrite my numerator. Now I could put a dot between those if I want. I could draw parentheses multiplication in all situations. 1 minus cosine squared theta we are going to replace with sine squared theta. All right so I'm just going to draw an arrow going from step to step here. Now I'm going to show extra steps can't hurt for the flashcard sake. So what does it mean to have sine squared theta the way we write it like this this type of notation well i'm glad you asked sine theta times cosine theta over sine squared theta really means the product sine theta times sine theta so just for right now let's consider it this way now maybe this is just the part that you do in your head or maybe this is a part that you write out on paper normally it's up to you right from here where do we go next? Well, sine theta over sine theta, now that it's part of a, only a product, right? Multiplication and division, only thing happening, division is multiplication, multiplication is division, it's just the uh, multiplication by the reciprocal, yada yada, right? So what am I left with at this moment? I'm left with cosine theta in my numerator and I'm left with sine theta in my denominator. Now can I simplify more? This is what you should always be asking yourself when you're doing an example like this one and we can use our quotient identities cosine theta over sine theta using our quotient identities what is that equal to good job cotangent theta so that is what we were able to simplify the original expression this big mess over here into that and that are in fact equal so i'll try to continue to put click through at the end. Hopefully you could click to another example or jump to the playlist. When I have a chance, I'll make sure that's all uploaded. So hopefully soon. And I hope you found this helpful. Adios.